ask Patrick series. The question is by PK Pandit. The question says that give me a first mark and score a negative marks in quant. Watch well. To understand negative mark is not uncommon. It's quite common as far as a lot of students with regards to quant is concerned. People who are really normally weak in quant or scared of quant. It's very common in that case. But that doesn't mean that you cannot improve. I mean, there are ways. I've seen people improving from negative marks to single digit marks to getting a 90 plus, 95 plus percentile in the examination. I've seen that and it's very easy to do. It's common to do it. I'm not saying easy. It requires efforts definitely, but it's easy to do. Now, since you're scoring negative marks or maybe a single digit mark, for anyone who's scoring negative or single digit marks, the first step is to try to move into the double digit marks. But every stage has a different way of preparation. Now, if I'm trying to move from a single digit mark to a double digit mark, the strategy will be different from maybe when I'm moving from a double digit mark to a higher digit marks. So here, let me focus on maybe a single digit marks to maybe a double or slightly increment. Now, the first to get a double digit marks I require maybe five questions. Okay, five questions. Even if I get four questions correct, I'm good. If I get five questions get correct, I'm 15 marks. So it's just good enough to start with, considering that I'm getting negative marks. Also, if you look at the CAT examination, the actual exam, I'm not sure the marks, but mock also should follow the same process, most of them, is that you will obviously have four at least easy questions in the exam. Four easy questions. So that means your aim in the exam should be to identify those four questions which are easy, solve them, maybe one medium level question on a topic you're comfortable with, and get them right. Just to make a margin of safety, maybe attempt six questions. I mean, your whole goal should be that I should be able to solve the six questions as far as possible, get them correct, at least four or five of them, so that I get a double digit mark to start. Then we look at the next step. Once you are the double digit marks, we can look at the next step to implement. Now, that means when I'm looking at the exam, now this is true for all students okay, who are weak in maths and organ maths. So, when I'm looking at the questions in the exam, I should ensure I don't waste time on questions which are tough or on the question which takes a longer time. That's a common mistake a lot of students do. People spend a lot of time on questions which takes time or which are tough and they don't get time to prepare, solve questions which are easy. So which means if I'm going to solve six questions, I'm going to leave 28 questions. Remember that. That means my whole focus as far as the exam or the section goes is identify those six questions which are there and solve them or maybe and try to get five of them right. So one strategy you can adopt, maybe you can modify your strategy based on this one. Go to the entire paper in the start. Maybe take whatever, 10 minutes, 11 minutes in the paper. Read every question. Don't spend too much time per question. Maybe 20 seconds max per question. Just read the question, understand it, and go to it. Mark it as easy or a medium or a tough. Right? Oh. You, what you can do is, after every 11 questions, if you find any easy questions, one or two easy questions, not more than that. Don't pick up too many easy questions. That's one more mistake people do. Pick up, people pick up too many easy questions and they don't get time for the other questions. Pick up less. One or two easy questions, the first 11 questions, if you get, if you feel there are, solve it then and then. Then go to next 11 questions. Again, go back, check. If you have one or two easy questions, try to solve it out there. Okay. Next 11 questions, solve one or two easy questions, solve it out there. And then maybe after that you mark the whole paper, you know which question is easy, which question is tough. Go back to that paper and try to solve. I'll repeat the strategy. And this can be used for anyone and people who are scoring you know, average marks also can use this strategy. So you can you take first 11 questions. Okay. 11 questions, if I take 20 seconds per question, will take you 3 minutes. 3, 3 and a half minutes. Back. So first 3 and a half minutes, go to 11 questions. Mark it as easy, medium, tough, whatever. For a person who is finding it really difficult, there should not be more than 1 or 2 easy questions per 11 set. Don't fall in a trap that every question is easy. Okay. So you should have 1 or 2 easy questions. Solve those one or two easy questions. There should be other questions which you may find it easy. Maybe you keep it for round two and mark it. Saying that I'll come back to this question in the round two later on after I finish everything. Same way for next 11 minutes. Three and a half minutes for going to the questions. And maybe 10 minutes for solving. Five, five minutes per question for solving. Right. Same for the next 12 questions. 
So basically you spend around 13 minutes per set. So you almost spend 40, 45 minutes in the whole first round of paper. You still have something around 16, 17 minutes left. In that 16, 17 minutes, you know now which questions are easy. You should know which three or four questions are easy. Go back to those three or four questions and so on. Okay. So what it will ensure that you have left difficult question fast. So also ensure that you spend more time on that easy questions where you spend five minutes per question. Okay. You have tried maybe something around seven to eight questions. All questions you may not get the answer. But even if you get the answer for six questions, you have got double digit marks. Strategy plays a very important role. Try the strategy. See if it works. Works great. If it doesn't work, try to modify your strategy and see if you can improve on it. That should help. Hope it's clear. Thank you.